Hey guys, Axe is back with another movie reaction and today for our latest reaction and commentary video on the channel we are going to spotlight our very first film and our first animated film and our first in Studio Ghibli and it is going to be My Neighbor Totoro. Now as far as any pre-knowledge is concerned, I do know Studio Ghibli has been around for a very long time. They've developed a following here in the US. I know they're very popular over in Japan. So we do plan to check out more with them in the future. In the meantime, if you are new to the channel and you want to see all my future reaction and commentary videos, click on the subscribe button down below. It would help the channel grow just so much. Alright, so uh, I didn't want to waste too much time on this intro because I'm really excited to get into this. So, no more chit chat. Let's get on with the show as X Spotlights, My Neighbor Totoro. What on earth is this? Boy, this intro is so out, uh, is so big, is so like, um, big fanfare. That's a lot of stuff he got piled all together in once. Hey, Dad, want the caramel? Thanks. How you doing back there? Fine. Are you tired? Oh. Mm -mm. So that's their father. Oh my god. Look at that shrine over there. It's around. We're your new neighbors. Oh, they're moving in. Okay. How do you like the new place? Dad, it's perfect! If there's a tunnel of trees! I'm not gonna lie, this would be a really cool place to move. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look, it's rotten! Uh, maybe you shouldn't do that. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's collapsing! It's amazing just how happy they are just to go to a house that's collapsing. But when you're a kid, I guess you don't care. Wait, what? Whoa. An acorn! Hey, Dad! Acorns are falling from the ceiling! Maybe squirrels live here. <gasps> I think rats eat acorns. I'll take a squirrel over a rat any day, to be honest. <laughs> so it looks like the house is gonna have something magical when you got acorns. <laughs> Holy... What was that? It was probably just some soot gremlins. You mean gremlins? <laughs> like the ones in my book? Or the movie. Normally you can't see soot gremlins, but when you go from a bright place to a dark one, you can catch a glimpse of them. Oh, <laughs> just went past you. And the stairs and open all the windows up there? Yeah! They're so enthusiastic about moving into their new house, they will just do help also. It's pitch black. Maybe it's the soot gremlins. The acorns, yep, the acorns are up there. Holy! One got away. The eyes. How she's effortlessly just going down the stairs like that with that soup gremlin. <laughs> what a ball of energy. Oh yeah, that's Pat Carroll. That's uh, Ursula right there. You've got soot sprites in your house. I used to be able to see them when I was your age. <laughs> so it looks like these little soup gremlins have a mind of their own. Who'd like to fetch some water for the pump? I'll go get it. You know, these two girls are really, they really are very obedient and they really love doing what they're told. You can tell they really like being outdoors, too. Hutsky, I acted just like that when I was a boy. But I'm glad he brought this cake you made. It's great, Granny. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Granny. Your grandma really knows how to treat people. I like that. And they're very respectful to her, too. That's hurricane winds right there. Jeez. Oh, they're back. Wait, they're going into that tree from the beginning. So are they gonna like give that tree life or something? Damp that dirt out, girls. That's it. <laughs> I wish chores were this much fun, to be honest. When I was a kid, it's kind of boring when you think about it nowadays. She's feeling better. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how many times I've seen them do that in anime, you know? And of course, as kids, you're like, I can't tell you how many years it's been since I've ridden a bicycle. Mommy! Hey, Mom, Dad's talking to the doctor. 
Mommy, do you like haunted houses? So what is their mother dying? So is their mother dying? Your hair will <laughs> never cooperate. It's exactly like my hair when I was your age. There are a lot of likes, Satsuki. Oh my god, their mother seems really good to them. You know, it's just these kind of movies. I just love it. It just makes you feel great. And her doctor said that she should be able to come home real soon. She'll be home tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow might be a bit soon. But I'm scared, not me. <laughs> <laughs> this dynamic, the way they just like make fun of each other and they don't take it personal and they're just doing the chores. This is really a great family dynamic. You don't find anything like this. Hey, wake up! <laughs> My dad used to tell me stories when I was about three or four. He would, I would wake him up like in the morning, come up, I'd like open his eyelid and be like, okay, I'm up. I'm making this one for you, May. There you go. Wrap it up so it stays fresh. What is that? So you made a friend already. I gotta go. It's amazing how fast she just like makes friends that quickly. It was always difficult for me growing up doing that. You ate through it. It's the acorn. Is that a ghost? Ha! I ain't telling you this, but you better be careful not to go in there, young lady. Oh, is that a mother and her child? Uh oh. <laughs> so what are they doing with the acorns? Are they like trying to grow or something? Oh. Oh my God! I am getting such Alice in Wonderland vibes with that. Oh. There's the Alice in Wonderland vibe right there a little bit. Whoa. Oh, don't poke it. <laughs> Dude, that sucker's huge. <laughs> God, May really isn't scared of anything. Totoro? Wait, so Totoro is that thing? Where's May? Did she like her lunchbox? May! May! I understand he was busy and all, but maybe you should have paid attention. Whoa, how did she... Oh, did they carry her back? No, I saw Totoro. He was furry with a great big mouth. Hey, wait up! <laughs> He's got the sandals on. What the... Here? Tunnel, let you to Rose Tree. Hey, where are you going? Hey, come back! So do those things only appear like at a certain amount of time? Or do they only appear when, you know, daytime? Or do they appear... You must have met one of the spirits of the forest. But you can't always see the spirits. You can only see them when they want you to. I'm not gonna lie, I would really, really love to go to Japan and actually see this stuff. Right now, the forest spirits don't want to be seen. I to let her mom and tell her all about this. I wonder, are Sephora trees real, real over there, or is, was this just something made up? I have a question with that trolley. Is this like set in post World War II, like the fifties? Mm, huh? mm. 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 What is? What was that? That was lucky, wasn't it? What? I left it. Hey! I bet you were swinging it around. Just a minute, you gave it to her, jeez. Oh, I wanted to give back this umbrella that Kanta lent came home from school with me. So it was really nice of him to help us out. Seems like Kanta just wanted to help out a little bit. He doesn't really want to tell anyone that. What happened to their father? No way! Totoro. Hey, it's the poster! That's where it came from, this scene right here. Here, try this. <laughs> so I have a question, what is this thing exactly? Is it like a, 
a hybrid. It looks like it's got like rabbit whiskers. It's got like cat nose. What is it supposed to be? What the hell? Whoa. So there was a lot. So all he had to do was jump up and down and get the water. Wait, what? What the hell? Holy, a cat bus? Dude, I like cats and all, but that is just weird as hell. That is so surreal. Dad, work overtime, I guess. Hi, sorry I'm late. Drive on. Totoro came back, Dad. I saw him. Great. It was great. <laughs> and ten legs. Totoro gave us a wonderful present and tied with a ribbon made of grass. At home, we opened it. It's acorns. <gasps> of course, how did I not know that? First with the acorns, so we planted them in your garden out back. Waiting for them to sprout. And it's starting to make her crabby. Here's a picture of May as a crab. <laughs> My vacation is almost here, and I can't wait to play outside with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, they'll sprout tomorrow? Yeah, because tomorrow is always the answer with May. May! Oh, they're going around the acorns they planted. So why are they jumping at it? Is this to like make them grow or something? <gasps> oh, he has to come around and he has to make something happen. <laughs> so when he comes around, you gotta like use all your imagination and they'll grow into trees. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my. Are they growing another Sephora tree? Hey, we did it! He has a spinning top? <gasps> it makes him fly. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would be I'm scared of takeoffs on planes. That might freak me out. You might want to go out there and take a look. I thought it was a dream. So I guess there's a message of patience a little bit in this movie. It's ready to eat. What is that? I, you know, my uncle actually used to have, had a garden when he was younger, and he still does, actually. He grows all his tomatoes and vegetables and all that. In fact, I actually knew a couple of people who had uh, gardens. I you like it. They're very good for you. They feed her lots of my vegetables while she's here. Oh, God, you hate vegetables when you're a kid, and then you absolutely love them as an adult. How can you absolutely not love this movie? A telegram? It's her mom's hospital. Something must have happened to her. Oh, no. I'd like to place a long distance call, please. Please don't tell me the mother dies. I got a telegram. You're supposed to call mom's doctor at the hospital. Happy to her, Dad. Do you Let's not worry. Oh my God, please don't tell me she's gonna die. No fear! What if she came home early and it made her even worse? No! You're such a baby. Just grow up! Oh, come on. I understand she was frustrated, but to yell at May like that when she's just a kid, I mean, jeez. She's very concerned about her mother, too, and she's not doing well, but when you're faced that young with a situation knowing that your parent might potentially die, how do you handle your frustration like that? May! May! How did she run off like that? I don't know anywhere else she might have gone. Granny! I bet she went to see mom at the hospital. Three hour walk even for grown-ups. Holy oh, shoot, you better find your sister and quick. I shouldn't have yelled at her. This is all my fault. Yeah, you really shouldn't have, Scott Sutsky. See a little girl pass this way? 
so I would have noticed. I didn't expect to go from being so happy and expected to take this kind of turn. Found a sandal in the pond. They don't know for sure it's May sandal. If she, if that sandal's in the pond, that means she can't be too far off. Already, but we still need your help. Oh, do you think maybe she might be on top of that tree? In to see Totoro. May's lost. Please let me in to see. Oh, it's them again. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Bro, May's lost. Help me. I have to find her. Oh, of course, ask for help. Whoa. <laughs> Just a sound effect to do it. <laughs> gonna call that cat bus? Oh, they can't see it. Only kids can. The grandma explained that. I really don't know how I would feel riding in a kitty bus. I mean, with all the respect, you have to sit down and then it leaves hairs all over your clothes. And then imagine how big that litter box is for that thing. I will say this, this is just so cool. To take us to the hospital? Oh, so he's gonna take them to go see their mom. Get better. When I get home, spoil those <laughs> girls rotten. <laughs> they have a very good mother, I won't lie about that. Look at mom, she's laughing. For mommy. I'm a little emotional, you guys. I like stories like this. I actually want to cry a little bit, you guys. Alright, and that's a wrap on My Neighbor Totoro. And I gotta admit, I really had a great time. This was a fun movie. It started off, like, really happy in the first, like, half. But then once they started to get around to, the, to when the mother was starting to get real ill, you can tell this, the movie kind of took a serious turn in the second half. But in the end, it all worked out well. And it's one of those movies that really makes you miss being a kid. And I think... I think Studio Ghibli's films are probably going to be those kind of movies. Um, I felt as though Satsuki and Mei were great sisters. I think they bonded really well. Satsuki did care, but obviously she was frustrated. But she shouldn't have yelled at Mei like that. They're both like fearless. And then Mei, of course, was obviously the most fearless of them all. She didn't even cry when she hit her own head. And then, of course, the father. You could tell the father had been through this kind of event before. And as I say... All this happened before, but it'll happen again. I feel as though that the movie had a little bit of message and a little bit of a, I think you would say a little bit of a point to it, and that was to teach patience. And obviously you could tell that when the, you had to wait until the spirits came up around when they wanted to come around. They couldn't just come around any other time, at any random time, sorry about that. Um, other than that, uh, this is this is great. The music was good too. I really loved how they incorporated orchestra and synthesizers from that time. Um, I also really loved the voice work. I think they were all effective. I mean, it was great for an English dub. I actually would like to see another Studio Ghibli film one of these days when we get to further in our journey. All right, and uh, I think that's it. And uh, we'll see you on the next reaction video. And until then, the spotlights are off. Bye, everyone.